All right, well, in honor of Black History Month, we continue to recognize trailblazers in all aspects of history. And today, we're highlighting one industry that tells our stories through a lens. That's right. One Columbia raised photographer has captured the legacy and impact of an iconic voice, the queen of soul, Aretha Franklin, with his upcoming book, Aretha Cool. Here to tell us all about this amazing book is photographer Matthew Jordan Smith. Matthew, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me on. It's a pleasure to be here. Super excited to talk about your journey and your book, but first, let's learn a little bit about you. Tell us about your background here in Columbia and what uh -huh. got you into photography. Well, my father, I moved here when I was seven from New York, and my father taught me photography because I was shy coming from New York to South Carolina. I didn't fit in, so photography was my, my way of connecting with people. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Had no idea it would come to my become my life mm -hmm. and now that's what it is and it's always with me my camera where I take pictures of everybody and anybody all the time that led to having a career doing first fashion and beauty I went to Atlanta to go to art school then from Atlanta to New York uh, then from New York it just opened the whole world to me and I love it and some of those people who you were able to meet was Aretha Franklin. Yes. Uh, talk about that relationship. Just, you know, what was it like knowing the Queen of Soul and then how your book, Akada, came to be? Well, it's funny, like, uh, I was introduced to Aretha by her publicist, mm -hmm. uh, Gwendolyn Quinn. And so I was doing a lot of stuff in the music industry as well. And from that point on, we connected right away. That first time we met, it was like, she felt like, family, like mm. an aunt, and we connected. And at the end of the shoot, I gave her my first book, Sepia Dreams. And she said, why am I not in this book? And I said, one day I'll fix that. Mm. So now here we have Aretha Cool, and that was of me working with her for 13, almost 14 years, mm. uh, documenting her for photo shoots and behind the scenes and parties and all that great stuff. This is a way of me with this book, with Aretha Cool, to give people a taste of what it's like to be in the room mm. as we were shooting. The cool thing about Aretha, she loved having her music played as I shot her. And that made for this incredible energy in the room. Not for everybody just around, but even for Aretha to hear her own music played and relive it. Mm. And I got to capture every one of those moments right away and put that in the book. But there's even more. In this book, I tell stories, I share the songs that were playing as we shot, so people can hear the music, they can play the music as they go through the book. That kind of cool beautiful. stuff. Really cool stuff. Aretha yeah. Cool. Very cool stuff. Seeing her in a new light and a new perspective. This is really exciting, Matthew. Talk about for you personally how being able to work with Aretha has shifted or changed your oh, wow. artistry as a photographer. You know, it's, it's funny, I've worked for a lot of celebrities now, um, uh, Oprah, Zendaya, you name it, but Aretha was, was very different. Connecting with her felt like family. She was the only person who I've ever worked with in my almost 40 years of being a photographer who only wanted to talk to me. She called me sometimes in the middle of the night to say, okay, Matthew, I'm debating on the name of this album. What do you think? The first time that happened, I'm like, Oh my God, she wants to know my opinion? But photography is a very personal, intimate experience mm -hmm. where you connect, make a connection. Mm -hmm. And sometimes that goes beyond just that moment in the room. And with Aretha and I, it was that way. She called me just to talk sometime. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I loved it. I loved her and loved that connection and, and I miss her. Well, yeah, we, we, we certainly miss Aretha Franklin. Let's talk a little bit about you. Uh, you used to live here in yes. Colombia before you decided to move to Japan. Yes. Uh, talk about some of the challenges. Talk about the move and then some of the challenges that you faced. Well, when I first moved there, I was almost being back and forth to the States almost every month, like 10 times a year I'd fly back and forth mm -hmm. until COVID. That put a, a stop to all of that. Uh, now I come back like maybe three times a year. And even when COVID, I came back a few times, but uh, life, hasn't changed that much. I've always traveled a lot as a photographer, New York to LA, New York to LA, uh, and now I do the same thing as just, you know, Tokyo to LA or New York. Mm -hmm. And to be honest, it's an easier flight now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> a more comfortable flight. Yes. 
More comfortable flat. And your time out there in Japan, I'm sure you were able to capture some amazing, amazing oh, things. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> my, my first job in Japan uh, was a celebrity there. Mm. And everybody comes there. As a matter of fact, uh, on the 20th of next month, Janet Jackson's there, TLC's there. Uh, I've shot TLC in the past, and hopefully I get a chance to meet with uh, Janet while I'm there and shoot. Uh, everybody comes there. So it's a, a great life being there and shooting mm. and being a part of uh, Tokyo and America at the same time. Yeah, connecting with people, that's your mission, right? That's my life. What's, what's next for you? Oh, well, number one, getting this book out mm -hmm. around the world uh, to do that. Uh, then I'm hopefully working on a pilot idea for a show. Okay. More on that later. Okay. Oh, <laughs> more on that later. Well, you know what, Matthew? We're going to be doubling back to get more on that show because this book sounds amazing, and you definitely want to make sure you get your hands on it. Smith's book, Aretha Cool, will be available on March 15th. You can pre-order your book now at arethacool.com. Matthew, thank you so much. Thank looking you. forward to this book and Pleasure looking forward to talking about this show as well in the future. Yes, yes. indeed. He <laughs> said, stand by. Stand by. Stand by. We're going to be here more from Matthew soon. All right, stick with us. We got more sunrise after this.